Hello everyone, here is Nathan Cabocante from São Paulo, Brazil. Um, today we are going to talk about how to create automatically purchase orders based on an Excel spreadsheet. In other words, we would like to we would like to show you how to use the PO upload. Um, in our previous session, I uh, I remember I showed you how to to manage freight services using standard SAP contracts, right? And we have used this validation Excel spreadsheet in order to create manually our purchase order, right? Um, the idea now is to use the same Excel spreadsheet in order to provide information to SAP and SAP will create automatically the purchase order. That's the main idea. So what I have done, I have created a new tab over here and based on, on information from the main tab, I have a, a short, short information, uh, a different layout that SAP will understand and will create the purchase order automatically. That's the, the idea. So uh, let's, let's just avoid performing manual jobs, okay? Um, and let, let's just ask SAP to perform all the job automatically, okay? So what I would like to show you now is all this information comes from the main validation Excel spreadsheet, okay? So first of all, one, we have over here contract comes from here. Uh, the billing comes from here, from the invoice. The delivery date is the payment date, okay? Uh, we can put manually over here, or we can create a new field, it is Excel speed sheet, and put information here, and automatically you can bring it over here. Contract item comes from over here. Uh, the bill way, or way bill comes from our CTRC number comes from here and the value comes from here so I'm just showing you uh, showing you guys uh, all the information we have collected in our pre previous session we have created a PO okay and all I have to do now is just save this information, go over SAP and ask SAP to create uh, automatically the purchase order. So we have created a uh, transaction code, Z transaction code for this purpose. ZMM PO upload. Uh, I have to tell the system where is my validation Excel spreadsheet? I have saved it with this tab active, so that's okay. Never try to save it with the other ones, otherwise you have problem. And I will run. After you run, SAP will provide you a, a report with successful or error message. Okay. Uh, it is well. I have to confirm if I would like to execute. And SAP will provide you. Uh, in this case, we have an error message because uh, the idea is uh, I already have created a purchase order uh, for cheese review. Okay, using cheese billing document. So. The main purpose here is uh, avoid to avoid I pay twice for the same way bill. Okay, so based on this information, you can talk to your vendor and tell, oh, you are charging me again. So please give me the correct way bill, and you can you can return the incorrect way bill to the vendor. That's the main idea. So what I'm going to do right now is. Let's just perform some changes over here in this, in this validation spreadsheet. Uh, 
let's just say the last one we have processed was this one 1009 right so 10 10 10 11 So uh, I'm not sure if I was clear. So what I have created is a system checks if I have already processed a uh, purchase order. Okay. Uh, let's just change. Let's just change this value. Okay. So I can save. And if you go in the PO up, uh, upload Excel spreadsheet, you can see now we have another information. Okay. Same. Uh, the value is different. Total amount. Why is different? Is it missing any information? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, okay, this is the net value, and this one is the, okay, is this gross value, oh, no problem. Okay, so let's just save, and let's just run over again. Now that I have new uh, documents, for sure SAP will be able to create this PO, okay? Okay, so now I have a successful message. Uh, the PO was created. Uh, here is Scott Center, but uh, the correct name is Contract PO created under the number. What well, is number? Okay, so we can go and see the purchase order, and we can uh, confirm if everything is okay. First of all, uh, we have these values. I can go over here. We can confirm. Okay, that's okay. Also, we can confirm when I will pay. That's okay, based on this information. We can confirm the invoice. Uh, I should change this number, right? I forgot to change. Here should be should be twelve, right? Yes. Should be twelve. Uh, this information comes over here, and all the way comes over here. So, in other words, SAP will perform cross check with this information. Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, other information that you cannot find over here, you can. For sure, find in the contract. Okay. So in other words, uh, SAP will create automatically uh, this purchase order based on a lot of information that comes from the contract. Okay, tax code, uh, invoice receipt, indicator. Um, what else? The material number chart description, all the, all the information from the contract plus the information you have over here, you have over here, uh, together you generate, you generate the purchase order. Okay guys, so that's the idea, that's, that's uh, what I would like to, to share, to show you guys. So I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, in our next session, I uh, will show you how to perform an automatic middle, okay, using another Z program. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.